and artists, how are you all? How's all the boys and girls? Welcome to my art class. My name is Noelle and today we are going to make little fishies. They're really super easy and you might just need a little bit of help from an adult but apart from that you'll be able to do most of it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pop them up here under my little owls. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need a few things. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need one of these. Paper plate. Simple, just paper little plate that you might have in the house. Okay. Next, you're going to need some paints. So again, if you have another paper plate, you can put little blobs of paint, your favorite colors on your plate. You're going to need a sponge, any old sponge that is about the house that nobody needs. If, if an adult maybe helps you cut up a big sponge into a tiny little size like this, it's all you need. You're going to need some glue, so just some PVA glue, children's PVA glue or Pritt stick even if you have it at home. You're also going to need some glitter if you have some, as much glitter as possible, I love glitter. And also if you've got little buttons at home, like any kind of old spare buttons about the place. They'd be good too, we can use them. And let me see, back again. Okay, you'll need a scissors as well, so you might need somebody to help you cut out a couple of shapes from this paper plate. So, let's get my scissors. And first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a triangle out of our plate. Okay, so just a plain, simple triangle. So if you go up to near enough the center, and then it's nearly like a slice of pizza. Just a slice of pizza. And then you can already see your little fishy taking place. Okay. Now, with that slice of pizza, we're going to cut it in half. So be very careful if you're using the scissors yourself. Make sure you have an adult with you that can help. It can be quite sharp. We don't want to cut our fingers. So now your pizza has been cut into two shapes. So we're going to put them aside until later. Okay. Just pop them there. Back again. Now, with our fishy, we're going to decide on a colour. Okay, so you can use any colour you like. I'm going to get my my plate. I'm going to pop this up here actually so that you'll see it. Put it inside the little fishy that I've done already. Put it there like that. Stick them on. You'll probably be doing this flat on the ground. I'm just doing it on this because I'm recording. And it's probably a lot easier on the ground. Now get your plate with your paint colours on it and decide what colour you want to make your fishy. So I already have a blue one. I think I'm going to go with a nice, hmm, it's hard to decide because there's so many nice colors. I think I'm going to go with a nice green fishy this time. So I'm going to pick this color here. So I'll get my sponge, dab my sponge into my paint, and then just sponge it onto my plate like this. Can you see? So you can, first of all, cover it like this. It's super quick and easy when you have a sponge. It's good fun too. So, oh, there's a little bit of orange on that sponge, but that's okay too because it's nice to mix colors. I love mixing my colors. So, if a little bit of a different color goes on, for example, look, there's a little bit of orange. That's okay too. We can sponge it onto our fish because fish come in lots of different colors, in lots of different shapes and sizes. And there we go. I might put a little bit of yellow on my fishy as well. It's in yellow. The best thing, great thing about sponges is that they give lovely 
a lovely kind of a, a texture when you when you sponge it on like this you get nice shapes i'm gonna put a bit of blue on it as well to show you what i mean you can get nice So once you have your plate completely covered in whatever colour you like, you have to get some glue. So this is the fun part. So I'm going to get my PVA glue and we're going to squirt a little bit of glue onto our fishy. So I'm just kind of spreading it out like that. If you have Pritt stick, you can just put the print stick all over as well. The great thing about this glue is that when it dries in, you don't see any of the white. So I've got my little fish covered in PVA glue. I'm just going to get my glitter. So I've got nice green glitter here. But you can put any color, any color you want to be. And I'm gonna pop it on top, sprinkle it on top of the glue. Can you see? I'm sprinkling it all over. Nice and messy. A good idea if you had some newspaper underneath you when you're doing this because sometimes the glitter can get absolutely everywhere. And if you have your newspaper underneath, it just means you can catch it all. Okay. So when you've got your glitter on, you can get a little can sprinkle it onto your newspaper or I'm just sprinkling it into this little box whatever didn't catch onto the glue okay now you can see it's a really nice fancy fish can you see it kind of sparkling in the light okay now next we can stick on some nice little glitzy buttons if you have some if you haven't don't worry you could cut up little bits of paper if you have like little bits of crepe paper or little bits, even tin foil would be lovely actually. And you can stick your tin foil onto your, your fishy's body. And now just gonna get some buttons here. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so you can stick on some buttons onto your, oops, they're all falling, but that's okay. Onto your fishy. So I'm just putting a few random little ones on. Can you see them sticking on? There we go. I put one up here at the top as well. Like that. Okay. Now, what's he missing? Oh, I know. We'll stick him back up here for a few minutes because he's missing his fins and his tail. Okay, so. From there for a moment and let him dry off and now we have to make his fins and his tail and they don't have to be the same color they can be a different color on this blue one i did them both the same but you can have them any color you like move this little guy over a bit and do you remember those two pieces of pizzas that we cut earlier on here they are okay so we're going to paint those now with our sponge again so I've got my sponge. I think I'm going to go with a nice red on this one. Nice rich red. Okay. Just sponge it on like that. Nice and simple. And just leave it there to dry. And with this one, I might put a little bit of orange. So, on my sponge again, still got a little bit of red on it, so I'm going to sponge it on. So you can see there the texture when you sponge it on, you get a nice kind of a, a bumpy type of texture. Rather than, like with a paintbrush, you'd have a different type. Okay, and because the glue is still wet, or sorry, excuse me, because the paint is still wet, we can sprinkle on the glitter without the glue. So again, have your newspaper underneath you 
and sprinkle your little bit of glitter. Oh, I love glitter. And sprinkle the residue off here. Okay, that's that one. And we'll pop that there to dry. And this red one, again, I'm going to sprinkle my glitter because the paint is still wet. I'm going to pop. I don't need any glue. But if your paint is dry, then just put your glue on, your Pritt stick or your PVA glue, and uh, do the same thing. A nice little bit stuck on there. The red and the green is nice. Now, next, what you need to do is you need to get something called masking tape. And I've got some here. Or sellotape. Whichever is the handiest, whichever that you have at home. And you basically tear off a little bit. The masking tape is really easy to tear off. So tear off two little bits of masking tape. <clears throat> and get your little fishy body. And then you want to put on the fins. Okay, so I'm going to put orange fin up here. So we'll turn it around like so and get your masking tape and just attach the fin at the bottom to the body. Can you see that? Okay. And then you turn it around and there's this little fin. And now we want to put his little tail on. We want to put his tail just opposite where, see the mouth is here, so just opposite we're going to pop the, the tail. So again, if you turn your fishy round, it's lovely and messy. And then get your masking tape and stick it on to the back like so. And then when you turn them around, you've got your little fishy. But hang on a second. I think there's something missing. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. His eye. He needs an eye, doesn't he? He needs to be able to see where he's going when he's deep down under the water. So let's get pop him up here again. Stay up there, little fishy. Okay. So to make his eye. If you have googly eyes, I don't know if you've ever ever had, seen those. They're kind of like these guys here. I'll show you. Um, of course, mine are here. We go. Simple little guys. If you can, if you have any of them at home, then that's fine. You can take them out and stick it on his on his face. But if not, what you can do is you can get an adult to cut a little white circle of paper. Okay, just a little kind of like an egg cup size shape and get some glue back again to you. Stick your glue on here onto the back. Well, we don't need that much. I've got a lot on there, but print stick either would be very, very handy for this. I just don't have any today. But, and stick it on here like that. Okay. And then you can get some paint and you can get a paintbrush and you can paint in the pupil of his eye so I'm going to give him a blue a blue pupil there we go and there's our little fishy he's got a little friend so there's our two guys and you can make as many of those fishies as you like and they're just really good fun and then when it's nice and dry you can hang your little fishy up on maybe the fridge in your kitchen or up on your bedroom wall and you've got two that be two little friends and that's it so I hope you enjoyed that class and making your little fish and I look forward to seeing all your little fish and all your hard work so if you want to get an adult maybe to upload them so that I can see them when they're all done, I'd be delighted. Thanks very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.